Hello, uh, OBU2 team um, members. Um, I'm very happy to be present at the OBU2Con uh, 2021 uh, online. I'm Ludovic Dubost, the CEO of XWiki SIS. Um, I'm here to talk uh, about when proprietary software fails us, open source can rescue us. Um, who I am, I'm uh, so the founder of uh, XWiki, which was developing the XWiki collaboration software. Uh, which is a competitor to, to conference, um, all open source. Uh, we also developed the, the CryptPad product, uh, which is a, a collaboration platform with encryption included, similar to Google Docs, um, and, uh, and providing people and allowing people to, to maintain their privacy. Everything we do at XWiki is open source, and we've been for 16 years in the open source business. And today, um, I'm going to talk about um, a case of a typical software cloud business model, where um, in the first phase of the of the strategy of a new software business, you start by uh, uh, collecting customers, uh, and then we, you wait a little bit, uh, increase your customer base, and at some point you you start profiting from that customer base. But how do you actually do that in 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 a lot of cases? Well, you start by giving a good price uh, and even a free service. Um, so we know some examples like Slack, which is going to give you a free community. You can use it for free. Or Google Docs, which used to be free for small companies uh, a long time ago. You could create a, 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 a 25 people uh, Google, uh, Google Drive and Google Apps and, and enjoy all the applications from Google. Um, and, uh, well, you get used to that platform uh, or to that cloud service. Uh, you put a lot of data in that system and at some point uh, the provider reduces uh, the, the, the free service. Uh, first for new customers, which are going to pay uh, more, but uh, also at some point might stop the nice deal. So completely stop the free service, force you to move to the paying one or just increase it pro uh, progressively um, and, and increase the price. Um, and so um, as, a, as a company that has been following our, our competitor Atlassian Conference, so in February Atlassian Conference has decided to actually go even further. They decided to move out and stop selling a product that they were selling. Um, and so, uh, if we look at the history, I'm not going to go over all these numbers, but you can read the slide if you find this interesting. Um, uh, conference started as a product that was uh, unlimited users, as many users as you wanted. It was $4,000. And, uh, and actually, uh, a couple of years later, uh, if you want 10,000 users on premise, it would be $230,000. Um, and um, so if we summarize a bit, uh, in 2005 it was for, for a, a, a maximum of $4,000 for any, any number of users and, and in 2021 uh, if you want to have an on-premise solution it's $27,000 minimal and up to $230,000 and their cloud service uh, also had increases it was seven hundred dollars a month for five hundred users, and now it's it's three to four times more. And we're not talking about uh, the same product that stays the same price, and then they add uh, they add modules that make you paying. No, they're actually changing the price of the base model of the base product. Um, and if we compare the XWiki pricing, well, more or less the XWiki pricing has not changed a lot, and although of course the the product has also increased a lot. It has been open source and we have a free package. We always had a free package and, uh, and it's still open source. We do have some paying modules, also all open source, but we're making, we're making them pay and they come on top of the XWiki platform. And our, our, our entry packages for 500 users are at 2,500 euros in 2021 like they were in 2010. Uh, and our cloud service has also not changed price uh, it, between 2010 and 2021. Um, so the problem of this is that uh, while anybody is allowed to change its pricing, the problem is that there, there is also an issue about who's controlling our data because uh, here we also see that 
um, that uh, there is a major shift between on-premise and cloud. So you had a company that was providing a, a software at $4,000, $5,000. Now the minimum price is $27,000 and they have clearly indicated that their strategy was cloud first. And, um, and it moves everything to the cloud. Um, we also see that a lot of startups are, are, are only providing cloud services now, not, not providing software at all. Um, we can expect that in, for, co for companies that are maintaining the, the two aspects, cloud and on-premise, there might also be less, uh, less features on the on-premise versions. Um, and one of the concerns with cloud services is that they, the cloud services have a high control on the price because if, if you're not happy with the price change, well, it's very difficult for you to get out because you, you cannot just wait the next upgrade. You have to get out right away. Uh, if a cloud service stops, um, you could also have a cloud service that is bought by another one and then it's discontinued completely. Uh, there is a lot of issues with this, with the proprietary software there and the cloud software in particular. Um, now, what can open source actually bring to the table? Well, I believe that open source can bring much more trust to the table, especially using strong licenses. Um, strong licenses and open source licenses are a contract and they do protect in, cert in a certain extent the customer. Um, now, uh, you, you, if, if, the, if the license is also too permissive, then the, the open source provider can also decide to move away. If the software provider is keeping a CLA to keep copyright of, on the whole software, then you also have risk that uh, the software provider moves away. Um, but, for example, if you have AGPL and no CLA, uh, you have a very high uh, trust uh, that the provider is not going to change its strategy of open sourcing software. And that's actually quite important. Uh, open source can also give you freedom between cloud and on-premise and the software and, and where you use the software. So you can decide if you are, want to use it on the cloud or if you prefer to use it on-premise. And open source can also be much more a collaboration where you're not uh, um, a victim of a decision uh, of, a, of a third party. Uh, you can also have some, some uh, methods to participate uh, in making sure that the, that the community works and that decisions are made together. Um, now, what can open source providers do in, in order to actually uh, be, more, be more available uh, for, for customers? So, for example, uh, we, we, had, we have this case where since, since February we have uh, more, more leads that are coming and asking for how do I move uh, from, from conference to XWiki given the new pricing policy. So, at XWiki we already had some importing tools, but we're spending a significant amount of time today to propose an offer uh, for the conference users that, uh, and develop additional tools to help the migration. Um, we believe that this can be, uh, of course, beneficial for the customers, but can also be beneficial for the XWiki community um, uh, globally because these customers can also sponsor features. So on our side, we're working on a conference import wizard, which is a paying package that we're going to propose uh, to customers so that they can move uh, move to XWiki. And on the other hand, we're also discussing with large customers that have the capacity to, to fund missing open source functionalities and macros in particular, um, in order to fund uh, the macros that uh, most customers need to be able to make the moves. Uh, one of the things is that the format of the data that, uh, that customers have inside a proprietary tool are making migrations very difficult. And this is actually uh, one of the biggest difficulties of migration for most customers. And, um, uh, and so the large customers can really help uh, uh, because they are, have the ability uh, to fund the, uh, the, the features and, uh, and then the whole community can benefit from this. Another aspect I believe that is really important is that we as a community, open source community, we need to explain our differences more to customers and prospects and explain that these type of things are predictable. Uh, these, these, these behaviors of the cloud business and proprietary software business is part of the book uh, of developing companies. And uh, this is something that we need to explain more 
uh, because our, our, our community can provide more trust. Um, one, one lesson also is that uh, open standard is still a massive unsolved problem. It's really difficult to move data from one system to another. Uh, there are some initiatives at the uh, European level to force a bit some standards, but it's really difficult. Uh, cloud also represents a huge lock-in risk, uh, more than proprietary software when you install it in-house. Today, if you, have a, if you have a cloud service, uh, well, the, the cloud service can kick you out in a minute. Um, transparency and trust is a major issue in the software industry, uh, and this is something that is really, really difficult to tackle. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a massive complexity to, uh, to, to provide trust to your customer because, of course, nothing forces you to change your pricing and it's very difficult to guarantee that you won't change your pricing because if, if you have a real financial difficulty, then you might have to change your prices, but this is not directed by increasing your profit. This is directed and, and abusing your early users. This is directed by the fact that uh, you need it to, uh, to, 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 to provide uh, the right solutions to your customers. And I would say that one of the biggest lessons here for many users of, of Atlassian product is that, well, moving earlier to open source solution is also a, a, a very good strategy in order to, to avoid uh, uh, feeding a business that is going to turn your back, his back on you. Um, and so uh, the earlier businesses, open source businesses are helped, or open source projects are helped developing their solutions, the better they're going to be uh, and, and able to, uh, to be the only solution that you use. Thank you very much. I hope you appreciated this, uh, this, uh, this conference and uh, I'm, I will be very happy to answer any question in, uh, in, in the chat. Thank you.